Hello, welcome back. I <laughs> turned off my camera yesterday and I have not worked on this since. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll catch up. Um, we're just gonna put that there. Okay, we're gonna work on these two flowers today. Um, so let's do it. Mm, sorry, I was trying to think of what I needed to bring up on my iPad. Okay. Nope. Okay. So these flowers are yellow, which we have used very little of so far. Um, so we're going to do 728. And then the centers, I'm going to do the 3031, but you can do something different if you want. These are my favorite, one of my favorite flowers that I don't stitch as often as I used to. I used to stitch them all the time and I kind of quit for a while. But anyways, they're back. Okay, so what we're going to do is some more satin stitch. <laughs> I know we're doing a lot of it, but the thing is, it's useful. And when you're doing it in different shapes and different areas, it just, you do it just a tiny bit differently. So anyways, these are very simple flowers that I feel like kind of pack a big punch. I think they look really, really nice. Let's see only three strands. I wonder if I have, mm, I'm gonna have to cut more fabric or more, more thread. Okay. Um, I like to use four strands. That's kind of my go-to. I don't know if you've noticed. You could do these with three or six as well, but I like four. All right. Thread my needle. I took my nail stickers off yesterday and I haven't redone my nails, so sorry. You get you get this today. <laughs> All right. With these ones, what we're gonna do is um satin stitch them into the middle and then we will do the center, I'm gonna give you an option for today or you can wait and do French knots. We're gonna do French knots on Friday to fill in this center to do these and then probably these centers too. I haven't decided on this center, but this one you can do different ways. So with these flowers, I like to start in the middle um, because then I don't have a knot at one of the corners and we're just gonna stitch into the middle. So we're gonna kinda do like we did with the basket weave um, and kind of stitch the edges or like guides and then stitch the rest. So we've got all of our edges and then we'll come back and fill it in. And sometimes I'll do some like in, like I'll kind of squeeze it into the middle and some I'll like go down into the center that I used in the beginning. So kind of whatever feels right for you. Because these down at the bottom are really close together. So let's see, six, seven, that's seven stitches about to fill this in. Okay, and I'm sorry, my video quality is not as good today because my other phone, the battery died as soon as I went live. I don't know if anyone else saw that. I went live and then immediately had to turn it off because I was at like 8% battery, which I had, when I looked at it, it showed that it was full. So I'm not sure why when I turned on my live, it was like low battery, very annoying. Okay, now I started in the middle on this petal because I didn't want a knot 
on one of these ends, but this one I usually will start on an edge. So I'm doing the edges and then the middle and then I'll fill it in. They should be all very similarly sized. So you should get six or seven stitches on each petal. Did anyone finish their basket weave? I know Kelly did. I shared hers on my stories today. It looked so phenomenal. I just ran out of time yesterday. So I didn't stitch as much. I don't even know. I don't think I'll even have time today to finish my basket weave. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are really busy at my house. Today I um, have been in my kitchen making all the things. I have a friend that just had a baby, so I'm going to take her family dinner tonight. Um, and I have book club at my house tonight. And my husband likes to take treats to the electrical supply house. <laughs> when he goes to pick up parts, he likes to bring them a treat. And so, um, I made cookies, brownies, and pie this morning. And while I was waiting for things to bake, I cooked the meat that I'm going to put in soup. <laughs> because why not? I was already in there and making a mess, so I may as well keep on going. No sourdough today, though. That's normally what I'm making is sourdough in the kitchen, but I didn't need any sourdough anything today. I still need to make frosting for the brownies and then... The pie I make is a vanilla custard pie with fresh peaches on top. So I still gotta like cut up peaches and make, I make whipped cream from, I whip my own cream for whipped cream because I like it better that way. So I still need to do that before book club. We're gonna have pie and then I'm taking brownies to my friend. Okay, now once we have all the petals stitched, I like to go back, you don't have to do this, but I like to, I think it just makes it so fun. So I'm coming up in that same hole and I'm just doing a stitch right across each petal, but use the same holes because you want them to be like, you don't want a gap between the stitch and um, the stitches that you, like the stitches that are already there, you don't want a gap. But I think that this makes it a little bit more whimsical. I don't know, I just think it's so fun. Plus like sometimes like these two petals are so close together that I wanna kind of break them up with that stitch. <gasps> Look how cute! Isn't it adorable? I really, really like this flower. So I'm gonna let you do this one on your own. So let's do a center on it. Okay, let me get out. 
I really think the best option for this is a French knot. So I would recommend waiting. If you don't want to wait, I'll give you something you can do now, but I think that a French knot will be best. I'm going to use three strands because that's a really small area. Um, I'm just going to satin stitch it. Hold on, threading my needle. So you could satin stitch this, you could do a stem stitch, you could do, I just think like one giant French knot would be really cute. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come up in one of these stitches and then go down in the stitch and just do a horizontal satin stitch to fill this in. If this was a little bit bigger, I think that a satin stitch would look better, but I mean, it's still gonna be cute, but I just, I will go in and do a French knot on Friday. Hold on. Deciding where I want that needle to come up. That's three stitches. I think I could do one more right here. One more on the bottom too. See, it's super cute. I just, I really like French knots for flower centers, but that's cute. What do you think? Yes, no, you could also go in and with a single strand, hold on, let me tie off these three. And just get a single strand. Let's see, a single. Let's do two strands. And we'll just add a few little highlights to our petals. Today's video was really fast, so let me give you some more ideas. We just go in now remember when you're splitting your threads you don't want to go in between stitches you want to split a thread and then we'll just do like two or three little stitches on each petal this is totally optional Trying to split that. There we go. Do two on this one. If you have like a second yellow, if you have more threads at your house than what is in the pattern, you could even do this with one strand. I didn't think one would stand out enough, but they're so contrasting in color that you probably could get away with just a single strand. Yes, Terry, we love options. And then I'm just, when I'm going down in the center, I'm going down like under that brown that I've already stitched, so I'm like into the middle. There. No, well, this one needs a third. It doesn't look quite right. That's better. Look how cute! I like her. Okay, 
So I'm gonna let you do the other one on your own and then hopefully I will have, what's tomorrow? Is tomorrow Thursday? It is Thursday. We still have a lot to do. Okay, so we'll do these two tomorrow and then we'll do our French knots and this one on Friday. Oh my gosh, that went fast. Okay, let me know if you have questions and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.